I'm Jason Moabi. I'm a breast medical oncologist at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. And I focus on a special subtype of breast cancer called invasive lobular carcinoma, an understudied uh, subtype of breast cancer that is important and that affect about 15% of uh, patients with breast cancer. Today's uh, presentation was uh, about uh, unmasking the tumor microenvironment of uh, such cancer. And what we found is something that is very interesting and something that's potentially actionable. Uh, what we found is that uh, lobular breast cancer is a significant uh, subgroup of them have an immune-enriched microenvironment. And another subtype that's also important that about 30% of patients are highly vascularized and contain a lot of uh, new blood vessels. These are very important findings because they can really uh, unmask potentials for novel therapies. Because historically, the way we were looking at cancer cells is looking at them internally and looking at some mutation at the genetic levels and some transcriptions uh, of different uh, uh, genes into proteins. However, when you look at it internally, it's like looking at a cell in suspension, meaning that the, the cell like it doesn't belong to uh, any environment, which is wrong because a cell is present in a vast microenvironment that is rich in immune cells because the function of the immune system is to find those cancer cells attack them and eliminate them. Why is the, the tumor evading the cancer is very important for the future of uh, the fight against cancer. And this is a strong step toward that direction. What we found is potentially actionable using immunotherapies, given that we found that about 50% are immune enriched. And because another sub, uh, substantial uh, subtype is highly vascularized, we can target it with anti-angiogenesis agents. These are uh, agents that target uh, blood vessel formation. Those therapies are readily available because they are used in other cancers. Now we want to bring them to breast cancer and specifically to invasive lobular carcinoma. And finally, we have a proof of concept to do this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.